The shipyard that manufactures aggressive destroyers for the U.S. Navy, known as Bath Ironworks, or BIW, and is located in Bath, Maine, could be a potential site for converting the military-industrial complex towards sustainable production, ultimately hiring more people, creating more wealth for the nation, and addressing climate change. This would be a win for the people, but a loss for the warmongers. BIW was established in 1884, but became a subsidiary of General Dynamics in 1995. General Dynamics is the fifth largest weapons contractor in the world. This weapons manufacturer came in at number 83 on the Fortune 500 list in 2020. That's how big they are. One ship BIW is currently contracted to build is the Navy Aegis Destroyer. Each Navy Destroyer costs over $1.3 billion. These warships have been sent all around the world, the South China Sea, the Black Sea, the Barents Sea, and more. Each destroyer is outfitted with missile defense systems, which are key elements in the Pentagon's first strike attack program. The warships, along with many other elements tied to the global network of weapons all controlled through the Pentagon, are part of an aggressive and provocative U.S. military strategy to maintain hegemony, and they are potential triggers for a global nuclear war. Bath, like many other communities in the U.S., is now addicted to military production. In order to address this addiction, we need a solution. That solution is converting the military production capabilities into sustainable production. Factories and shipyards should be built and converted into sites where we produce sustainable technologies to produce renewable energy, medical equipment, products for our education system, and other related producing capabilities. There has long been a campaign to convert BIW into producing clean energy. We could be making hydroelectric energy production, solar panels and wind turbines, sustainable energy grid systems, and communal rail systems. We could also be creating more jobs while we're doing this. In 1994, President Bill Clinton spent his Labor Day at Bath Ironworks Shipyard. Many of the speakers hinted at converting the shipyard towards making commercial ships, even non-military, non-defense oriented projects. But you will see commercial ships built in this shipyard in the very near future. This mutual cooperation will put these critical job skills working on non-military, non-defense oriented projects that will help improve the quality of life for everyone on what we truly hope will be the peacetime society of the future. Let's remember, this event was held in 1994 when BIW was an independent company one year before General Dynamics bought it out in 1995. Despite the symbolic gestures to convert the shipyard at BIW, as well as converting the military-industrial complex into something more beneficial to the majority of people around the world, Clinton obviously went down the same route as every other president, pushing for expansion of NATO and other military adventures throughout his terms in office. Conversion is possible. Just like in World War II, where the U.S. government walked into nearly every factory in the country and converted it from making underwear into making seats for military vehicles or aircraft. America has decided to arm herself for protection against any aggressor. And the assembly lines of the automobile industry now become assembly lines of defense. The same men who in the past 20 years designed and built over 70 million passenger cars and trucks are bending their wills and their talents to the task of building weapons for the protection of America. We do have the ability to convert it into something else. In fact, small examples of conversion have happened during the COVID-19 pandemic. Workers at a General Electric plant in Lynn, Massachusetts, which makes jet engines and employs 1,300 people, protested to shift production to making ventilators. Unicor, a corporation which uses prison labor to make uniforms for the military, converted some of their operations in Minnesota to begin manufacturing medical gowns during the pandemic. 
if and BIW shifted some of their activities to begin producing nasal swabs for COVID-19 testing. Conversion is possible. Conversion of the military industrial complex of all of its facilities, plants, and factories to shift production to sustainable energy systems towards medical supplies and equipment could generate more wealth for the people, more jobs for the people, and can even address serious worldwide changes of climate change. The Global Network stands for the conversion of the military-related production facilities to begin actually protecting the people of the United States and the world. Support the Global Network by sharing this video, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and remember to hit that like button. For more information, visit our website at spaceforpeace.org.